All praises, all honor, all glory, and majesty goes to the mighty Yahweh, the only one who deserves it. I got to fill in the blank. I didn't do Proverbs 18, just realizing that. Let's read Proverbs 18 and 1. Through desire, a man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. Yes, you have to kind of separate yourself in order to really get some good studying in. You have to take yourself out of the crowd, take yourself out of the hustle and bustle, and focus in. Verse 2. A fool have no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. He don't have no delight in understanding these proverbs. He had no delight in understanding the Almighty's word. He had no delight in understanding right from wrong. He just want to tell you what he think about the situation. He want to tell you what he think or what she thinks. Let me read it again. A fool had no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. So, yeah, when you're talking to people, they don't have a fool. If they're, you're talking to a fool. They're not going to have no delight in understanding what you're talking about. They're not going to, they, they, they want, they want to tell you what they think. They want to tell you, you know what I mean? So let's continue. Verse three, uh, Proverbs 18, when the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt and with ignominy reproach. So when wicked comes, you gonna have some contempt. This person, he already ready to start talking crap about you. He already has contempt as soon as he gets there. Cause he's a wicked person. You got contempt. And reproach. That's when the wicked come. The wicked don't come in his peace. He come and he like, look at this dude. He got contempt already in his heart already about to talk crap. Let's continue though. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the well spring of wisdom as a flowing brook. Verse five. It is not good to accept the persons of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. It's not good to choose the wicked. Over the righteous, when you know the right, he's the one that got his stuff stolen. He got his, he the one got his baby stolen or whatever the case is. It's not good to accept the wicked in judgment. If you know this person is wrong, he's wrong, no matter if it's your friend or not. Verse six, a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth causes for strokes. A fool's lips enters into arguments. You have to be a fool. To the one that start entering into an argument. You want to discuss something. You have a disagreement. Let's discuss. Discussing your disagreement is not contention. But a fool's lips enter into contention. Meaning they, they ready to argue. They ready for the back and forth. A fool's mouth is his destruction. And his lips are a snare of his soul. A fool's mouth is his destruction. His lips are a snare to his soul. What does that mean? His mouth is what he talks. Oh, man, I'll whoop any niggas ass, man. Fuck them niggas over there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A fool's mouth is his destruction. You know, his fool, a fool's mouth is the one's going to tell you, oh, you know what I just heard? You know what she just told me about? She said she said she's pregnant, but she's going to get a fool's mouth is going to reveal secrets and a fool's mouth enter into destruction. It's your mouth that gets you in trouble. The words of a tailbearer are as wounds. They go down into the innermost part of the belly. What's a tailbearer? A tailbearer is somebody that reveals somebody's secrets. Somebody tell you something, they want you to keep it to yourself. Somebody's with you, maybe intimate with you, and they reveal things about themselves. It don't matter what the what it is, what you're going to do uh, as a tailbearer. You're going to say, oh, you know, he this and he that. You know he only do this. You know he only do that. That's a tail bear. A tail bear reveals somebody's secrets, something that other people ain't supposed to know. That this person lets you know. This person brought you in, and now you're gonna tell everything about him. You're gonna tell everything about her. That's a tail bear. A tail bear reveals secrets. And verse eight says the words of a tail bear are as wounds. They go down to the innermost part of it. That's a wound when somebody trusts you with some information, with a secret, and you go and tell other people. Verse nine, he also that is slothful in his work is brother to him as a great waster. Slothful in your work. You're not, you're not supposed to be slothful or lazy in your work. Let's 
Let's continue. The name of Yah is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. And the righteous do run to the Almighty and they save. The Almighty's word can beat up on anything. The New Testament, the Holy Quran, man, all that Hinduism, the Hindu garbage, the Book of Mormon. You run to the name of Yahweh, you safe. His wisdom, his word never changes. His word is a strong tower and nobody can fight against it. The rich man wealth is his strong city and a high wall in his own conceit. Verse 12. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. So before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. He's arrogant, man. Before he gets destroyed, he thinks he's the best at it. He thinks he's all that. He's haughty. He's prideful. He's uplifted. He's better than you. You know what I'm saying? He's prideful before he gets destroyed. That's why you need to be humble and meek. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is a folly and a shame to him. Why are you answering somebody before they even tell you to tell you what's going on? You already want to cut them off and tell them what's, what it is. No. Somebody come to you with a matter, hear them out first, and then respond. Don't cut them off. Oh, yeah, that happened to me before, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that happened to me. Oh, well, let me tell you. No, they're trying to tell you the situation. Calm down. You don't have to tell people ego driven. They want to they want to talk. But said, he who answereth a matter before he heareth it. How are you going to answer somebody before you hear the whole thing? It is a folly and a shame to him. Verse 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear. My spirit is, up, is, is helping me out right now. We're not seeing my baby for four months. Let's continue. The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Yeah. So we're not dogging people. We want to hear what you got to offer. What's up? I mean, everyone, when you're arrogant and haughty, say, oh, he ain't nothing. He a nobody. He ain't nothing. But if you go to talk to people and get to know people, they have all types of knowledge. They can tell you this one knows about cars. This one knows about computers. This one knows how to work out. This one knows all about something. So. When you get go to anybody and you are prudent, said the heart of the prudent person get knowledge and the ear of the wise seek knowledge. So you see an elder, ask the elder a question. Elders love to give you knowledge. But you're not if you're not wise, you won't be asking them nothing. You probably be dogging them, thinking you prideful. Let's continue. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. And everyone has a gift. What are you good at? Harness it. Develop it. Because your gift will make room for you and bring you before a great man. Figure out what your gift is. Verse 17. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor come and searches him. What does that mean? That means we've got false witnesses that seem right. You know, people come to you with a problem saying, you know, man, this man, he he messed up. He this, he that, he did it. But right here it says. He that is first in his cause seem just meaning your friend telling you about what's going on with what with, with her man or, or his woman or whatever situation. They seem just. But his neighbor come and searches him out, meaning, well, how about we well, we searching him? I mean, let's ask him some questions, get some discovery going on. What about this? What about that? So did you did you do anything to provoke it? Did you you know, you know, you have to search out the matter. That's why you need more than one witness. That's why the almighty say you need two or more witnesses to establish the matter. 
You can't just be one person. But let's continue. The lot causes contention to cease and parteth between the mighty. Verse 19, a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city and their contentions are like bars in a castle. Don't offend your brothers. You know, because when you because your brother is obviously somebody that's that knows you and you know him. But you know what I mean? It's hard. It's your brother. You know what I mean? Your brother can also be your, your kinsman, your, your kinsman. But when you talk about your brother in this instance, it's not talking about love your brother like all black people. Because when you offend a, a stranger, it's different. It's not the same. But you offend somebody you know, their contentions are like a strong castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You can die from the stuff you're saying. You talk, your, your trash talking can get you killed. Death is in the power of the tongue. Keep your tongue. Oh, F them things over here. Wait, straight up, gang or whatever. A lot of stuff can cause your death. Just leave it, keep your tongue. Because you can have life in your tongue too. You can speak life, speak good. Verse 22, whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of Yahweh. That's an indictment against myself. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of Yahweh. I need to find me a wife. Do I have favor? A level, but I don't got this type of favor. I need to get this favor. I'm going to pray for this favor. Y'all need to pray for me. That I find me a wife. Verse 23, the poor uses entreaties, but the rich answer roughly. A man that have friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. So if you want friends, you need to be friendly. Verse 24. I don't mess with none of these. I ain't got no friends. I don't mess with none of these hoes out here because they ain't about shit. They all they want to do is. Well, he who has friends will show himself friendly. The same spirit you come with, the same one they're going to come with. You must be friendly. But it, this right here is Proverbs 18. I'm giving all praises to Yahweh. Uh, I didn't do Proverbs 18, so I want to make sure to fill in that gap, fill in the blank. All praises, all honor, all glory go to Yahweh. I'm nobody. Pray for me. They've taken my baby away and they have struck, struck down everything in court in regards to my baby. But I'm still going to fight. It ain't over. It's never over for my baby. All praises to Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 